Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. Today we've got Dom from DB Details with us because he's given the guys some training on cleaning the cars and a lot of you have asked like what products do we use, how do we clean cars etc. Uh, I'm the wrong person to ask because I'm awful at it. But Dom really knows his stuff so he's here, he's going to show the guys, give them some training so that we make sure that we've been as efficient as possible and hopefully you guys can figure out some cool stuff as well. So. We're gonna get straight into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. come on! Ow, come on! Ow, 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 come on! All the door jams, all the engine bay, yeah. and then the spare pair of hands are gonna get on the wheels. Yeah. Rule of thumb with the wheels, do they look shit or are they quite clean? Yeah. If they're quite clean, they'll just need a standard safe wheel cleaner. Yeah, I don't if they're pretty clean they look pretty clean, yeah. if they're shit, then we get out this. The acid. The acid. Right. Always mix it minimum 50 50 because it's savage as fuck. Don't get it on your hands, don't breathe it in because it will like change your life. So to me, I'm not gonna lie, I always do the finger test. Mm -hmm. Take that comment as you as you like. <laughs> um the fronts don't seem that bad. So what I'm gonna do, looking at it, I'll save myself loads of time, is put the nasty stuff on the inside mm -hmm. and then the nicer stuff on the outside. Say again, sorry? You're going to get a bit of overspray, yeah. but I'm just going to literally yeah. right. spray it around that like that, okay. bag a little bit of water there. And already we just got a whole bottle out of that instead yeah. of half. half. Yeah, <laughs> wicked. There's a very fine line with um, how much to spray and how much to spray, uh, how little to spray. If you're spraying it on there and it's all foaming up and it's unnecessarily dripping off, then it's obviously too much. But if you can hardly make out what you put on there, then there's not enough. So there's always that happy medium. Yeah. This is my wheel cleaner safe wheel cleaner. So Macaulay's done the insides, they're going to be dwelling and over the front. In this game there's always something that can be dwelling with product whilst you're working on something else. Right. So typically door shuts first, yeah. then we can spray the wheels up and the door shuts are dwelling, then we'll come back to the door shuts in the engine bay, then we'll come back to the wheels. So you're constantly moving around yeah. instead of oh let's do the roof oh let's do the bumper oh so this is a patio cleaner yeah and we're only going to use a patio cleaner for fabric arches yeah um plastic we'll just use a pr normal pressure washer yeah. so now whilst everything's dwelling macaulay's on the door shuts yeah. we're gonna f i like to call it fuzzing we're gonna right. fuzz out the arches okay. only the fabric arches yeah This will just literally annihilate all the mud yeah. straight back to the fabric and give you banging clean arches really quickly. Nice. Instead, of, uh, instead of pressure washing all the mud out and spending ages, yeah. this will just tear through it. Yeah. We won't use this in the bodywork. Now, make your life a bit easier, mate. Absolutely. And whatever that brush doesn't do, this one can do. Lovely job. Now, if there's a bit of like, Heavier stains, a little bit of G101. Yeah. is like a stronger version of citrus. Yeah. Um, if citrus doesn't do it, then get the G101 out. As a rule of thumb, you'll nail 99% of the yeah. things. And so far, we've just used wheel cleaner and citrus. Yeah. Now, we'll just keep the door shuts dwelling mm -hmm. whilst we attack the bodywork, and then we can do one big rinse down together, because there's no point Rinsing the shuts out and then rinsing the car down, then rinsing this because you're just wasting time. Yeah, we'll okay. do one big rinse. Yeah. We'll spray the citrus all over the vehicle now. The wheels and arches are pretty much tied up now, so we'll forget about them. So we'll just spray that over the whole, whole car. Yeah. And then I'll get you on the wheels, Macaulay. If we do two sides of the wheels, yeah. and then we'll let Mark do the other two wheels. They're already sprayed up. Yeah. They've been dwelling the whole time. So now it's going to be a literally as a rule of thumb, if the wheels are shit, then use shit brushes. But if the wheels are nice, use nice brushes. Yeah. I know it sounds obvious, but it's just the, a way of just getting the job done nice and effectively. And you should see that the cleaning the wheels is a nice straightforward process because the chemicals have been sat on there for like five to 10 minutes. Yeah. If they still look crap after you've let them sit for a while, spray more chemical on and go again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 come on! If we can just uh, annihilate the whole car with this stuff. Yeah. So with that citrus, yeah. 
Um, it's got a tendency to dry out quite quickly, especially in the warmer temperatures. So putting the snow foam on top gives us an extra five to 10 minutes worth of working time. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll get it all layered up. Just to make the most out of the chemicals that you're spraying on there, because there's no point, it's like washing the car and it dries out. You're like, oh, I need to do it again. Now is a perfect time to get the kettle on. Yeah. You just leave that on there for up to five minutes. This snow foam has got like a TFR cleaner in it as well. Right. Um, you've got some on the side called Ultra Mousse. Yes. Um, this actually breaks down the dirt and does half the cleaning for you. Oh, okay. So you don't have to spend half as long going around the edges and what have you. Yeah. If this was a slightly nicer car, we'd rinse this off first before putting your sh shampoo and mitts onto the panels. Yes. But in the politest way, it's a van. So there's no point wasting time with nice this, nice that. We're gonna get scrubbing with the brush all around the edges just to agitate all the shit and give it one big rinse down so then we're pretty much washed. And if we just get scrubbing all around the edges, every single edge, basically the more that we do in the prep stage, the easier the rest of the job is later on instead of wiping it or doing the job twice. And there's nothing worse when you get it indoors and you've just left green everywhere. You're like, oh no. As she's a van spec, we're gonna naughtily mush this in. It's not that dirty, it's not a black car, it's not a super fancy car that you need to spend all the extra time on. We just wanna get it clean, get it presentable, get it indoors. Yeah. Um, so if we help yourself to the wash mitt, yeah. every time you've gone around like maybe two or three panels, dunk it in the clean bucket, yeah. dunk it in the soap bucket, yeah. then we go again. And again, I know it sounds like me teaching you to suck eggs, but straight lines working panel by panel right. will eliminate getting muddy pizza triangles when you go inside. You're like, oh, I missed a bit. Ah, oh, shit, I missed yes. a bit. Yeah. So panel by panel, nice straight lines. Yeah, if it's a, a transit shitty van that's never been washed in its life, get a brush out, yeah. it's all good. Nine times out of 10, just the hand cut, wash just yeah. stops it scratching half as much. Um, unless it's a battered old beast, then get the brush out, but. Yeah, nine times out of 10 user. And it's just way more, way more effective using it so you can get all in all the nooks and crevices yes. a lot more. Because yeah. all you're gonna do is anything that you miss is then you're gonna end up wasting time indoors going over again. Yeah. <laughs> so to recap, dirty shitty areas first, engine bay, door shuts, wheels and arches. Mm -hmm. Everything sprayed up, agitated. Citrus over the bodywork, snow foam over the bodywork. If it was clean a car, yeah. if it was working on that Mercedes or the Audi, we'd rinse the foam off first, yeah. then go in with the wash mitts. Mm -hmm. We've been a bit naughty today. We've just got rid of half of that because it's a bit of a yeah. bit of a workhorse. Ow, oh, 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 come on! And now we're going to rinse it down. Start from the top, and we're going to make an extra conscious effort effort of um, spraying out all around the edges because yeah. they were particularly green. The reason someone said you've done a good job or a bad job is as to whether you've got green around the edges, basically. Yeah. So um, whoever wants to sign up to pressure wash off the beast. Uh, things with engine bays, if there's obvious, it sounds, it sounds obvious, but it can catch you off guard. If there's any obvious wiring or somebody's taking an engine cover off, X, Y, and Z, then just go steady around it or yeah. put a bag over it or something like that. Yeah. Epic. That's it, a nice zigzag over the edges. We'll get, um, Get you well away, bang in. And if we have a look up close on these ones, oh, actually, they're pretty much there. Um, if we just do a bit of a zigzag pattern all the way down the edge, this looks pretty good though, to be fair. You put your own number plates on here, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Handy time to take the plates off and clean in behind. <laughs> this is the longest thread of my life. Uh, these new modern day engines are splash proof, yeah. hence why you've got all the plastic cowlings here. Yeah. So as long as you're like not annihilating like the fuse box yeah. uh, or an obvious like package of electrics, yeah. it's safe to do so. Okay. It, and especially the way that spray comes out yeah. is pretty misty. Yeah. So unless you're literally like, holding it point blank range yeah, 100% yeah. into an electrical connection, then if it's in a slightly older car, then we're gonna go steady. But yeah. These newer ones absolutely love it. Oh, okay. um, but if it is missing an engine cover, yeah. again, go steady because you don't want the water to make its way down into the injectors or into the yeah. you know, bits and bobs there. Okay. But nine times out of 10, it's good as gold. Yeah. And if it goes bang, then Joe can pay for it anyway. Yeah. 
We're going to go the extra mile today. This is a vinyl and rubber care dressing. Right. Whilst it's wet, only, obviously we don't want to spray the scuttle panel because it's going to make a greasy mess. It's quite silicon content in here. Right. It's going to make a greasy mess all over the windscreen. Yeah. So this area, yeah. we're just going to, and it's almost like a stars in your eyes moment. Yeah. We're going to close the bonnet and then open it up again a little bit later. Yeah. And it's going to look insane. Okay. You can look, <laughs> you can eat your dinner off it. Yeah, 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 yeah. come on. Have you used a tar remover in this place before? Yeah, yeah. Oh, amazing. With TARDIS, spray from the um, bottom of the windowsill yeah. down. Yeah. But then with the cloth, we're going to wipe over the whole car. So if you don't mind spraying up the the living daylights out of it. Yeah. So yeah, all, all the all the road grimes and salt stick to the side, right. hardly any on top. Okay. So that product works best when it lands on top and breaks it down. Yeah. And then we're just gonna like exfoliate the surface of the skin. I uh, know, not the wheels, don't worry about it. Unless they're particularly tarry, but I don't think they are. Um, and then we're almost just gonna like, the paint we're almost gonna treat like your skin. Yeah. Give it a good exfoliation just to bring back the shine as yeah. best as possible. Epic, and again, this stuff works best. Obviously, if it's a little bit warmer, it's not, it's, you can't leave it on there as long, no. but in perfect conditions like now, we leave it on there for two to three minutes. Yeah. And we can hopefully, oh, we got some other, you see the contaminants here, all this like obvious stuff. Yeah. See the orange specks? Yeah. That is iron contamination. Right. Which is a sign that the disc and pads need to be changed. There are gonna be two stages on this one because we've spotted the orange specks, mm -hmm. I'm gonna get the dedicated spray out to remove them. Right. But nine times out of 10, just for um, preparation for cleaning them, we just use a tar cleaner. Yeah. So because this needs it, we're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, just this step alone is completely fine. Yeah. Okay. So wash tar and then wax it. Yeah. And we're gonna massage the paintwork and windows head to toe, just until all the black, black tar spots come off. Yeah. If it does leave something else underneath it don't worry that's a different kind of contamination that we'll deal with in a minute right so we're just aiming for the black nuggets of tar on this hopefully you can see them disappear yeah oh oh yeah you're not you're not you're not joking either paint paint yeah ah nice now i've seen some in here somewhere you've got some jaffa cake cleaner it's, it's called a water spot remover. It's in your cupboard. Why this hardly has been used, I do not know. Why, have, why is this amazing chemical not been used that much? You've probably never seen it before. Nope, nope never used it, never used it. <laughs> has it been here longer than you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, this is a genius cleaner right. for getting all in around the edges. Yeah. Um, there's nothing worse when you clean the car and bring it inside and you can see all the gunk around the badges and stuff. Yeah. This stuff just annihilates it. Right. So again, we'll get another little brush. Really get in all those crevices. It also cleans this chrome plastic finish. Oh, right, okay. And kills all the crud all in around the edges. Yeah. Great for the little chrome bits here, just where they're a little bit tarnished, looking a bit dull. Yeah. And then we'll do the same on the front. It's also good for Mini Coopers and they've got all the chrome around the windows yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just a handy little step that takes 10 seconds. Yeah. That just looks, takes it to the extra little mile okay. when it's indoors. Yeah. So we'll leave that on for two or three minutes. Yeah. We're all tar and glued. Now the orange spots is what's called iron contamination from um, disc and pads being left too late. So the discs, uh, the pads have got the disc so hot, it's just pluming off. Yeah. Molten iron, it sticks to the side of the car. Yeah. So you've got some there called Red 7. Mm -hmm. Red 7 is a dedicated fallout iron contaminant remover. Yeah. You spray it on, turns the car pink. Yes. And hopefully when you wipe it down, it removes all the orange yeah. Yeah. stuff. Is that the stuff? Yeah. That is the Amazing. Stuff. Let's get... Do you start with it? No, you use that stuff neat. Okay. The one product you can use yeah. neat. <laughs> if you do happen to use this stuff, in the warm climates and put some snow foam over the top. Right, okay. Just because it, like you said on clothes, it stains and stinks. It stains the plastics and they make them go white and milky. Right. If you don't wipe it off whilst it's wet, yeah. then it can stain them semi-permanently. So we'll leave this on for two or three minutes. 
handy tip if you're running low with this stuff you can actually put a rubber glove on and just massage just it and spread it. it oh right okay but i've got loads you've yeah, got loads let's say, use yeah, it up yeah. can you see it all like going purpley yeah. yeah you see it it's all reacting yeah this is now breaking down snow foam over the top of it just so it can dwell that little bit longer and then hopefully have you got some clay bars here i bet you bloody yeah, have it just now. become a brick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that should be thick with clay. Yeah. Um, it's still a good one. I think that's the one I originally recommended. It is actually a good one. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, watch. Yeah, see the stuff here? Yeah. Hmm. I enjoy clay in the car. It does sound like there's some stones in this. Yeah. I was going to say, it sounds a bit... We're not... <laughs> It's no, so I don't get in the in yeah. the in the wash mat. Oh, look at that! I'm actually impressed with myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just keep rubbing, and it will turn into a black Fiesta ST. <laughs> Pressure wise, medium. Yeah. Yeah. Not Too hard, then you're going to end up scratching the shit out of it. Yeah. Not light enough. You're not going to actually get rid of it. Get rid of anything. Just for the dwelling time, like I said, we'll just put some foam over the top and again more soap suds less scratches less work to polish later basically i've just mixed three steps into one yeah you can red seven by itself mm -hmm. and rinse it down yeah you can clay bar it by itself oh, okay um depends on how much contamination is on there as to what cloth you use yeah i'm trying to hope that i can help out with the microfiber yeah but the clay bar is so much more aggressive it gets it done straight away yeah. So in levels of aggression, you start with the microfiber, mm -hmm. then the clay mitt, yeah. then the clay bar. Right. The clay bar is literally, as it sounds, a bar of clay, yeah. and it is ten times more aggressive than right, than the okay. wash than the mitt. Yeah. So it depends what you got in front of you, really. Yeah. But the purple indicator is just a good heads up as to how bad it is. Yeah. If it doesn't really go that purple, then you haven't got much on there, no. so you can get away with the microfiber. But like this thing is literally turned purple. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> got one. So hopefully this is a good representation. Cool, if, yeah, if you clay mitt and then I'll run around with a clay bar. Yeah. Probably a little bit excessive for a, <laughs> a, a, a works van dealership prep probably, but for the sake of stretching our legs, yeah. we can see what spending a little bit of extra time on the bodywork yeah. can achieve for the final output. Yeah, you massage it over the area until it's super smooth. Yeah. And the aim of the game is to rub over it and you don't hear anything, but... Oh, there we go. Oh. Don't know what the purple stuff's doing. No. It's very easy to zoom in on too small of an area. Mm -hmm. Keep it realistic. Yeah. Big areas, big swipes. Yeah. Because otherwise you can take all bleedy day. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's a works van. Ow, 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 come on! I'll show you how to pressure wash, pressure wash out these door jams. It's not hard to do, but it's very easy to make a massive mess inside. Using the, the V shape of the spray, mm -hmm. we want half of it, the inside half of the V, mm -hmm. just to glaze the inside of the door jam and the outside spray on the floor. Yeah. Sounds really obvious, but as soon as you put too much of the pattern in the door shut, it ends up splashing you, splashing the car, and making yeah. an absolute massive mess. Yeah. There's no really right way or wrong way, as long as you're flushing it out nice and smoothly, mm -hmm. and use the door rubber just for the water to get up to, so then it runs out nice yeah. and e easily. Yeah. we're hardly wet inside yeah, and you've got a banging clean door shut yeah, as well yeah if you don't mind finishing off that other side i'll get this rinsed down okay these wheels are going to need another hit but we'll sort them out in a minute yeah, and once that's got dirty we need it in as best as we can with our yeah. freezing cold fingers and rock hard um, Then if you're feeling really bougie. Sorry. 
that look good? <laughs> Lovely job. Can we still finish it or do you wax it? Wax it. But with a spray wax, which I put my spray wax in a snow foam gun, which we'll do in a second, spray it all over, leave it two minutes, rinse it down. That's the job done. Dry it, that's your finish. Silicon's just a bullshit shine, which is almost a really pointless product. But it's good for plastic, good for interiors, but on for the outside, it's really greasy, it's really sticky. It lasts for like two days. And yeah, it doesn't really look that great either. These wheels, I'm gonna rock, roll the car forward. It'll let me know when I've, when the wheels are spun 180. But yeah, we'll just give these another go. It just needs, I'll go get my other brush. It just needs a bit of finessing around the oh, back of the spokes, yeah, yeah. which is no one's fault. It's just where the brushes go in so linear, yeah. it doesn't get around the corners. No. Wicked, we'll just leave that on there. Yeah, give it a rinse out in the wheel bucket and then um, just hook your finger around the edges and give it a good old scrub. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 come on. This is um, Autoglim's Polar Seal. So three catfalls and a snow foam gun, spray it all over and it's just be delicious. And the shine is actually quite good. Whoa! Come on, honey! Gosh, this works better than mine. Now we're talking. Let's get some shine on this puppy. Pose so cost effective, not when you put it in neat, that you can use a whole bottle on the car and literally go crazy with it. All over the plastics, over everything. So this in terms of like prep now is washed and we have to do now is dry it. Yeah. So that, and then once it's inside and there's, you know, it like trickles out the edges of water a little bit. Yeah, so we're gonna blow it out as best we can. Then the wrapper detailer is just a little bit of extra sacrificial shine. Yeah. So it's almost like a spray bottle version of this. Yeah. But you don't have to like put it on as a separate product at all. I can't believe this is still going. No, 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 that's it, that's waxed. And rinse off. And look at the water from fancy when you rinse it off. Beady boy. How's it looking, Mark? Banging. It's like a new car. Ow, what? Oh, come on. Wicked, now we're going to dry the car with water. Just so we don't faff around spending many ages trying to get all the water off. Um, with a slow, slow trickle of water just to get most of the most of the beads off to make our life drying easier yeah. i'll get my blower out and um, we'll get it pretty much bone dry in here fair play let me know if it's any different and this will also warm up and keep your hand warm <laughs> Epic, so the idea of the blower is to get all the effort around the edges and then Mark's gonna mop it up with a towel afterwards. These, these towels are from um, Euro Car Parts. Three pound a towel. Three pound. They're actually really good, but people don't realize that they're really good, so people don't buy them. Yeah, three quid. They're really good. We can blow out the door jams, bit of, yeah. Yep. Um, but also we'll follow it. Once you've blown off like the majority of the water, yep. this is where the wrapper detailer comes in and a bit of a cloth to get a bit of a shine, mop up the last of the water. Epic. And we give that a chase afterwards. Yep. Just nice, just to mop up the last of the water. A bit of a double action kind of thing going on. That's it. Oh, oh, looking sensational, look at it. So getting all these shitty intricate bits dry fur now, yeah. it just stops it leaking for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah. Because there's nothing worse, it's just gonna drip for days and oh, days yeah, and yeah, days. Yeah. Oh, it might need a little bit of a mop around the edges, but yes, have a pop, let's just see what it looks like. But yeah, that doesn't look too bad, does it? No, that actually bit of a scrub, good. bit of a dub, bit of a spray, bit of a lay. And um, yeah, that's perfectly acceptable for photo opportunity. I'll blow the wheels off and then we'll get her into the bay. Yeah. 
if we can get a bit of a tar remover on a cloth and yeah. wipe the tires, yeah. that will remove all the old dressing on there and leave a naked rubber for us to dress. Oh. Yeah, if you wipe around with a cloth after the brush, yeah. then that way the brush gets in the edges and then the cloth just mops it all up. This actually looks, for a wash and decon and a bit of spray wax, it looks good already, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, yes, we've gone a little bit too far, but this is like the final output of uh, exterior yeah. for a... Uh, for a forecourt prep. And along the way, we went, has it got tar on it? Yes, mm -hmm. it's got all these orange specks, let's sort them. This particular car, we've said yes to a lot more things because it needed it. Yeah. Whereas if it hadn't had all of the others, you kind of go, no, it's fine, it yeah. looks good, move on, looks fine, move on. Because mm -hmm. it's very easy to do this to every car, which I think Jordan was a bugger for, and just spending way too long on every single car. Yeah. Which is good and fine to a degree, but you want to get them in, out, in, in out, yeah. 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 But an extra five, 10 minutes here, you're like, yeah, that was worth it because it looks so much better. Yeah. But when you're looking at the time, it's like three o'clock and you haven't even washed it. Yeah. You know, that's when you've got to think, oh, hang on a minute. That's it. I need to sort something out here. Yeah. If it doesn't need it, don't do it. That's too wet. That's not enough. Something in the middle. Yeah? yeah. Vents, intricate areas are the first and last thing people see. Sprayed up the door cards already, yeah. so we'll get them scrubber dubbered. Where things are at the moment is cracking for a full valet. Oh my, why did I do that for?